The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is transitioning to a three digit number this Saturday, 988. NBC 5's Ethan McReynolds spoke to local experts. He's live in studio with how it's going to affect the Rogue Valley. Ethan. Shelly, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline has operated as a 10 digit number for more than 15 years, but health officials nationally are trying to reach more people. The Lifeline has had response time issues in the past, but with over $400 million in federal funding going towards the new line, the hope is to help more people experiencing a crisis. 988 is a message. When you hear 911, you think emergency and rescue. Starting tomorrow, when you hear 988, think crisis and rescue. The National Suicide Prevention Hotline is simplifying their 10 digit number to 988. Rick Rollins with Jackson County Mental Health tells me it could not have come at a better time coming out of the COVID-19 pandemic. COVID and the resulting impacts from you know societal changes that have happened have really increased people's uh, you know, worry about the future, worry about their um, their life. $400 million in federal funding are also being dedicated to the hotline in the hopes of cutting down response times. It was a major issue in the past with one caller out of every six hanging up before even talking to anyone at the lifeline. The money is being used to add over 200 call centers nationwide. If one call center on a nationwide level is um, is overloaded, then those calls will route to another call center. You know, there's a workforce shortage, which is really why this 988 lifeline is prime timing. The change to the hotline number will not only help response times, it will also get people in touch with the correct personnel to get them the help they need. Often right now, people may call 911 when there's a crisis and law enforcement responds. This needs to be um, moved back to the realm of um, mental health workers, and crisis staff. Federal funding is going a long way to not only help at the national level, but also right here in Jackson County. We are partnering with some local community agencies to expand our crisis response in response to the increased call volume we expect to occur through 988. Rollins told me Jackson County Mental Health is currently working on the details of what their expansion will look like. He's hopeful the organization will be able to announce its plans in the very near future. Live in studio, Ethan McReynolds, NBC5 News.